Hi, welcome to the 8th chapter of class 7, Geography. Chapter 8, Human Environment Interactions, the Tropical and the Subtropical Region. So here is a brief content as to what we will be reading in this chapter. The two major topics that we will be covering in this chapter is related to Amazon and Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. So as we go ahead, we'll be reading about all of these subtopics. So with no further ado, let's begin. First topic, Life in the Amazon Basin. First of all, we all know what and where tropical region is. Let's refresh by having a look at it. So this place is also referred to as the equatorial region. Now I want you to remember these two points about tropical region. Number one, ample of sunshine due to sun rays falling straight on the equator. Number two, the term tropical rainforest, which means heavy jungle, because this place receives heavy rainfall and has lush green vegetation cover. Always remember these two points whenever you hear about equator. Now let's have a look at the flow of the river Amazon. It originates from the Andes mountains of west, goes all the way through Brazil and drains into the eastern side in the Atlantic Ocean. Now let's read about the climate of Amazon. Since it lies in the equator, it has hot and wet climate throughout the year and day and nights have high humidity and it also rains almost every day. There are a lot of things going on if you see. So let's understand that one by one. Hot and wet climate. The reason it's hot is because it lies in the equator. The sun rays fall directly on the center of the earth. And then it's a wet climate as well. And the reason behind that is because rainfall. Always remember, a hot place will always develop low pressure because land heats faster than water and hot place develops low pressure belt. And always remember, wind flows from high pressure to low pressure. So the trade wind coming from the Atlantic side will rush into the low pressure belt and that will lead to rainfall. So when you have hot climate and then you have rainfall, then humidity is bound to happen. So now I hope you understand the climate of Amazon crisp and clear. The next topic is rainforests. So Amazon is the world's largest tropical rainforest. The forest cover is so thick that the sunlight doesn't reach the ground. Leaves and branches blocks it. This rainforest is rich in flora and fauna. Birds such as toucans, hummingbirds, bird of paradise, they are very common. Animals like monkeys, sloth and deadly ants exist here. Various species of reptiles and snakes also live in these jungles. Crocodiles, snakes, pythons, anaconda and boa, you name it, everything is found here. Oh by the way, the movie Anaconda was shot in Amazon. If you have watched it, you would have a glimpse of what Amazon jungle looks like. And the next topic is people of the rainforests. People grow most of their food in small areas after clearing some trees in the forest. Just remember this, the kind of agriculture people of Amazon follow is called slash and burn cultivation. In India, we have a name for it. It's called Jhum cultivation, especially practiced in the regions of northeastern part of India. So what they do is they grow crops by first clearing the land of trees and vegetation and then burning them thereafter. The burnt soil contains potash, which increases the nutrient content of the soil. While it helps human in terms of agriculture, but it destroys the forest cover and that causes major problem to the ecosystem. They mainly grow tapioca, pineapple and sweet potatoes. Cash crops like coffee, maize and cocoa are also grown. The rainforest also provides a lot of wood for their houses. There is a trans-Amazon highway that makes all parts of the rainforest accessible. Aircrafts and helicopter services are also available for reaching various places. Nowadays, a large portion of the rainforest has been disappearing annually in the Amazon basin. Due to development activities, the ecosystem is getting destroyed and with destruction of forests, Rain washes away the topsoil and that can leave the land good for nothing. So this was all about Amazon Basin. Now let's come to India and read about the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. The tributaries of rivers Ganga and Brahmaputra together form the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. I'll show you all the tributaries of Ganga and Brahmaputra on a map. Pause and have a look at it. So both Ganga and Brahmaputra originates from the Himalaya and covers a long journey before it drains in the Bay of Bengal near Sundarban Delta. The region where they drain is usually dominated by monsoon climate. The Himalayan mountain areas have steep slopes and rough terrain, therefore less people stay at this place. However, the moment these two rivers reaches the plain area, due to fertile soil that it brings along, this plain provides the most suitable land for human settlement. Agriculture is the main occupation of the people. Wheat, maize, sorghum, gram and millets are the other crops that are grown. Cash crops like sugarcane and jute are also grown. Banana plantations are seen in some areas of plain. In West Bengal and Assam, tea is grown in plantations. Silk is produced through the cultivation of silk worms in parts of Bihar and Assam. In the mountains and hills, where the slopes are gentle, crops are grown on terraces. In Ganga and Brahmaputra plain, the kind of trees that grow are tropical deciduous, which means the trees that shed their leaves annually. Teak, sal, people, and thick bamboo trees are found. 
When we go towards the draining point, there you will find mangrove forest. They look something like this. So we have covered the plain, the draining point, what's left, the origination point. In the mountainous region, you'll find coniferous trees like pine, deodor and fir because of the cold climate, slopes and steep up there. There is a variety of wildlife in the basin. Elephants, tigers, deer and monkeys are common. The one-horned rhinoceros is found in the Brahmaputra plain. In the delta area, Bengal tigers, crocodiles and alligator are found. And we also have rich aquatic life in the fresh river waters, the lakes and the Bay of Bengal Sea. The plains of Ganga Brahmaputra is heavily crowded by big towns and cities. The cities of Allahabad, Kanpur, Varanasi, Lucknow, Patna and Kolkata. They all are located along the river. The wastewater from these towns and industries is also discharged into the rivers. And this increases the pollution of the rivers. In terms of transportation, railways, roadways and waterways are very effective means of transportation. These plain areas have also large number of airports. These two river basins have also flourished the tourism industry. Taj Mahal, Buddhist stupas, then Imambara, wildlife sanctuaries like Kaziranga, Manas, and the distinct tribal culture of northeastern part of India attracts a lot of tourists from all over the world. So, this was all about the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. And with this, we have come to an end of this chapter. And I hope you found this video informative. If you enjoy these videos and see a purpose behind watching them, please like the video and comment down below. Until then, catch you guys later and talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.